Free trees. Free trees. Guys, for all of you people that are out there are all just going on about my pronunciation of three and tree, you are going to have a field day today. Free trees. And how to get them. Stay tuned. I know Bruno, I know, I know. I know, good boy, I don't have anything. Good boy. Okay, Bruno Bruno is excited. Right, okay. These, these are all burr root trees, okay? Uh, these are hazel and these are very tall. Look at these. So these are these are some of these are about six foot tall. Okay. They're gonna be planted first. These are oak. Sure, how many's in that? That could be a bundle of fifty. Uh, that is probably the same of silver birch, wild cherry, one of my favourites, guys. A few of them, and what I have right here is I have three hundred oak. Check that out. All free. Unreal. Unreal. Right. Let's have a look. If, if if you're a subscriber to my channel, guys, you will have seen this place a million times before. Okay. This is Red Branch Bushcraft. This is this is my land. This is the forest that I am slowly removing and replanting with native species. Okay. Why would I remove a, a, a forest and and replant it when it's so much work? Well, guys, this is this is not a native forest. Okay. So these. These trees serve serve a function at the minute. In in I use this uh, as uh, as a business. It's, it's where I teach bushcraft courses and stuff like that. But guys, I was never a hundred percent happy with the fact that, that these trees weren't native. So I am slowly replacing them with native trees. So some people will criticise me for cutting down live trees and stuff like that. It is something that I have come across in the past. But this is why I do it. Okay because I am replacing. I am creating space to put in native trees. I do find a lot of native saplings just sort of sprouting up on their own and I do I do nurture them as well guys and I move them to places where they will grow better and, and do things like that. A lot of the times I just leave them, okay? So, what I am doing guys, especially with the hazel, is is I am going to put them along this, this, uh, this fence line here because this is the sort of south facing fence line and they're going to get a lot of sun uh, there especially where up round where the, the the big tree came down the other day where i had to cut down that tree that that is where i'm going to put them in going to put in at least two of them right now okay three trees didn't i tell you how to get the, yeah okay so look you, you're thinking about doing something similar you have a piece of land you're you're, you're thinking about doing this guys there's a load of different places out there where you can get free trees that, and that that is the truth right so uh, if, if you have a big enough area of land, I would recommend contacting the Woodland Trust if you're in the UK and see and seeing if you can do that. There is similar uh, there are similar things in the Republic of Ireland, but I'm not sure what they're called. I might have to research that a wee bit and put it down in the description. Guys, I got those trees from a branch of my local council who advertise it every year. Who wants free trees? Maximum 500 trees, guys, and all you have to do is fill in an online form and you, you get an email to say come collect your trees and that's what I did this morning and those trees will be planted some of them today but most of them will be planted this weekend guys uh, so check it out have a little google free trees in your area there's lots of facebook pages there's lots of there's actually lots of free tree charities free tree charities yes I can speak uh, that will help you do that as well okay so let's let's uh Let's get some on the ground and then, then what I'll do is I'll heal the rest of them in and show you how you can possibly keep them without putting them in, in their final uh, place for about a year or so ju just by burying the, the roots as they are in their bundles. So this, this was the wind blown and this was the one that I had to take down in this area uh, and actually what I, I, what I have right behind you guys here is look this this is a line of native that I've been planting as well, so you know it sort of it's it's it sort of ties in. So I'm gonna put maybe 
I might put a, a, a hazel here and a hazel here and stick a cherry in between. I'll see. I'll, I do like the old wild cherry. They come on well here, they do well. So let's let's get those planted. These are nice, look at these. But they're you're gonna have to dig these deep. But they are nice. One, ha 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 ha. Just in time for the sun to come out and for, for it starting to rain. Do you need Mac that tree's doing some waving right behind you? There's a bit of a funnel here, I never noticed before. Sorry, completely on a tangent there. Guys, it's really sunny, so I managed to plant one, two, three. I put in three hazel and I put in three, uh, three, uh, what you call those other things? Wild cherry. No, I put in four hazel. Put another hazel right here. So, uh, so guys, look, I'll take the rest of them over and I'll, I'll heal them in for you and just show you how I do it. Now they're all going to get planted at the weekend anyway, so it's not it's not really a big deal. But uh, but you know, it's not really a big deal. I think as long as I cover the roots, I, I, it has worked out okay for me before. And I have literally had trees that I've healed in for three three odd years, and I've planted them and they've, they've been fine. So. Uh, we'll get everything back in the wheelbar and we'll, we'll go back down and I'll, I'll take you to the garden and show you what I do. These bad boys right here, in their bags, they're going to be 100% guys. They, they are going to be planted at the weekend and if they're not planted at the weekend, I will heal them in once, once we separate them and stuff like that. Uh, this is what I found, they, like they have come to you in a bag, they have been in a bag for a little while. Uh, they're, they're, they're going to last a little while in the bags, you know, so uh, I have found that they're okay as long as you as long as there's a bit of moisture getting into them They're sitting up like this. They're getting some rain in them. They're gonna be okay, right for a little while But check yourself guys don't you know don't leave them sitting there for three weeks or anything like that because they will all just die Okay, so what I'm going to do over here guys is I'm going to heal in the cherry because I'm going to right now off camera I'm going to plant the rest of the hazel what you can see right here this is the last of the blackthorn that i planted last year or that i got last year for planting guys uh from 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 the council same way okay and this is just healed in and it, it is as simple as that right so the, the hazel would actually be very difficult to heal in because it's so big you'd, en you'd end up digging big massive holes so all i'm going to do is i'm going to Separate this, dig myself a bit of a hole here. Like that. Gonna make sure that all the roots are covered in soil. 
Get him right up on us. Don't take the tags off them. Don't take the tags off them, guys. No matter how good you think you are at identifying trees, you'll be digging these out in six months, or, you know, or eight months, and you'll be going to yourself, what the hell is that? Do you know what I mean? So leave the tags on them. And that's all I do. Just make sure that the roots are covered. And that's it. Guys, go check. See if you're entitled to free trees. Contact your local government, guys. Contact your local council. Get on to the Woodland Trust and all these different wonderful organisations that give, give away free trees to people who want to plant them. See if you can do something great today. Thanks for watching. Stay frosty. Did you like that? See if you can see something, do something great today. How corny, Wally. Yes, Bruno. Yes, Bruno thinks they're all sticks for him to eat, by the way. So it's a struggle for, for him not to pull them out of the bag. <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching. Stay frosty. It's okay, you got another stick. Look, he's all happy now. Look. Are you all happy now, Bruno? Look, he has a stick. He has a stick. <laughs>